this is just a quick view of the new Garmin Connect software. Um, it's still in beta version and it will probably be rolling out later in the year. So first of all, it's got a couple of different sections. Let's start from the top. So at the top will be the activity you've done for today. Um, they will be listed, all of them, if you've done more than one. So for if you would click on it, it will take you to the normal view of that activity as it is in the software right now. Then we've got our in-focus cards. Now I think you can load five of these cards on. They get populated at the beginning by the, some of the questions that Garmin asks you when you start with the beta program. You can change these in-focus cards by going to the bottom, saying edit home, edit in-focus. So now we can add some of extra focus cards on here, like sleep score, and let's say body battery. And you will see I can add another one, let's say steps for instance, but to do another one it will stop you and say that you've reached a limit of five stats. Now if we save that and we go back to the home screen, you will see that I've got five in focus cards that I can look at. You can also reorder them by pressing edit home, edit in focus and on these two bars on the right you can move them up or down. So let's move sleep score to the top, save that, go back to the home screen to the top. Now you will see the first card here is my sleep score. I can also click on this on the card. So this is the first time I run it on this phone, that's why it gives me these details. If you click on it, you will get more details on that card itself. Let's go out, let's see for instance my training readiness. Click on it, you will get the normal card that you've got on the current software. Below in focus, we've got at a glance. Here is a couple of extra cards that you can add up on. I think you can put eight on here at a glance and you can see all of the ones that you've selected by clicking that button there. Here is all the button, all the cards that has been selected to, to look at. To edit this, you just click on the top right and you can move them around. So it says here you can select up to eight stats that you want to see on your home screen. So that is the ones that is on the home screen here. These are these four. I can add another four on here. And you can have a total of 20 displaying in this mode after you've selected to view more. Now to add or edit, you can move them around. So again, you just click on the two bars, hold it in, and then you can move this around to different positions. You can also move it down if you don't want it on the home screen anymore. If you want to add any of them, you just go to the bottom, click add, and then you can select any of these to add to those cards. So let's say my fitness age. There it is at the bottom left. Now I save. Now the bottom left, or the last one, will be my actual fitness age. I can also move that up to the top if I want to see it on my home screen. So I just click and hold those two buttons, two bars. Doesn't work so nice, does it? Seems like if you take it to the top, it will go up and you can drop it there. Save, go back to the home screen. And now my fitness age is part of the at the glance cards that is on my home screen. Then there's another one that's got events on it. So if you have events added to your Garmin calendar, it will show here. You can also find a new event by clicking find an event and it will show you events around you, which is not very close to me, these ones. So you can change or place your preferences um, of you know, where to search for events or you can create your own event by clicking there.
then if you are doing any of the Garmin training plans, the details will be in this card here. You can choose to hide it or show it the same as you can do with the events cards. If I do not have any events or I don't plan on adding any events soon, I'll just hide that card and it's not on the home screen anymore. If you're not doing any Garmin coaching plans, you can hide that as well. Then the last one we've got here is our challenges. So these are the challenges I'm currently doing the Garmin challenges, see all, here is all the challenges I'm busy doing and here's exhibitions, so I can add exhibitions, I can add challenges, exactly the same way as you did in the previous app or the current app. At Edit Home we can switch off the, the, the in-focus cards, so if we go back we will see the in-focus one here at the top is not on there anymore. And we can also switch off the at a glance cards. See now it's just my activity for the day, in focus and it goes straight to challenges. All the cards can be switched on or off. So I can switch at a glance on again. Yes, the events and training plans are switched off. I can even switch off challenges as well. Now we've only got my activity in focus and at a glance. That's all there is. You can also reset this by clicking reset home. Then you've got three options on what it should focus on. So either just focus on be healthy or stay active or track my training. You select that and you set save it's going to warn you that all your previous changes that you've made to the home screen will be reset and it will be um, now focusing on track my training press save and you will see it will choose by itself a couple of focus cards and it will choose by itself at a glance but you can edit it anyways it doesn't matter which of those three options you choose you can edit all of these, all of these um, glance menus or focus menus and cards any way you like. Um, there's nothing that will change on your choice on those three choices. And that's it. The rest are all the same. Here at the bottom, we've still got, if you chose to have that, challenges on here. I've still got my calendar. I've still got my news feed. Looks exactly the same as it did previously. If you go to more, this also looks exactly the same. I can connect to my Garmin device, which is not connected at the moment. This is a, it's not connected to this phone. Um, but you can do all the changes and the settings as you did previously, or as you are doing currently on the current software. Okay, thanks for watching.